Okay, so we are at the exciting phase now of doing our bench for our project. So I finished setting the cinder blocks. I used eight inch cinder blocks and put those um, here. And I have about a foot, maybe about 14 inches in between the two cinder blocks, right? And then I was able to fill these with uh, some broken chunks of concrete. And um, we had some old pier blocks we put in there. And um, I had some retaining wall concrete blocks and some bricks. Just any filler stuff you have around the property that you're trying to get rid of, this is a really good way to just put it to use. And uh, but it needs to be so hard and solid, like cement dish. So, and then uh, so and now I'm um, putting the cob mix, um, you know, on top of the cement blocks. And I've put the I got some stones. I got some nice river stones. And I put these along the bottom on both sides, right? And just dry stack them. I don't need to mortar them in or anything. And so I uh, put this, and this is to keep the cob from touching the ground. You don't want the cob to be touching the ground. So, uh, so I'm kind of doing the, the bench and the back of the bench together at the same time. So I'll just kind of show you the process. So you do a, you get a, your clay slip. Now your clay slip glue, and uh, and for these blocks you want them to get all the base rock out of this, and so you put your slip on, and we'll go ahead and put it on the front also, and you put it on top of the stone also, and so the idea is once that cob dries, it'll lock the stones into place. So now you can take your pile of cob, and this this is a really nice mix here. This is a a good mixture of good 70% sand, 30% clay. You know, this is a my material here. So I got this from up the road from a Cobb Mountain School, just uh, a block away. So uh, okay, so take this mix and put it on. Now put it on, I don't know, about two inches, an inch to two inches thick. So this, this part goes pretty quick. You know, it's all the, the prep work that takes a while. But once you have the uh, foundation, the base done, this part actually goes pretty quick. So that's my mortar. And I'm going to grab one of these cinder blocks so we had a bunch of uh, extra cinder blocks left over from our project and uh, but I did get a few new ones also I'm using six, six inch cinder blocks here for the back of the bench so I set this in about like that wiggle it in and I leave about an inch from the edge and then I work that in all right, so work that in, and then and then I'll be putting some filler material in here. Oh. Oh. So we get some uh, just chunks of clay or some uh, some old brick you're trying to get rid of, and just kind of stick those in there, and then. And then if you can get some base rock and put base rock inside there to flatten it out. Because your next block will be going on top of this, right? So I'll go ahead and just put some in this one too so you can see how that process goes. Uh, I'll just go ahead and I would probably normally go all the way down and then add on but I'll just show you. So then the second block again I put the mortar or the slip on top of here and then I grab one of my blocks and again, oh, and you can also, if you have adobe bricks, great. 
Uh, it's great if you can make Adobe bricks that are the same size and use those instead of the cinder blocks. Awesome. It's just this is the beginning of the building season, and I just I haven't had a good, you know, three weeks to let those bricks dry in the sun. So so uh, so I take a, a block. I put the uh, slip on the underside of the block. Just, there's a fat side of the block and there's a thin side. I put it on the fat side and then I put it in between those two and just kind of wiggle it in and work it in to the one below. And then we'll be putting a, a good clay slip over the blocks like so and then putting our pod mix right over it and so it just goes on about about an inch thick or so and then we'll also be taking taking the cob all the way down I would normally be on the other side when doing this, but uh, and you can take the cob all the way down and to those stones. And then we just kind of continue the cob and then you fill this in. And uh, so we'll be good at doing that all the way down. And uh, yeah. Um, so I think I think we'll be able to get this all done tomorrow. Uh, this part will be a little harder because we're using this more irregular urbanite broken chunk. And uh, so, um, oh yeah. And so if you come a little closer here, you can see. So, so I've. I'll go ahead and just kind of push this down. And I always like to, when doing a bench, it's always nice to have the front higher than the back. It just it makes it more comfortable. Um, but we can we can do that tomorrow. And I'll be I'll also be adding cob to about right here, and then going back at an angle, right? So it'll be nice and comfortable. So th this should be a good size bench. Uh, it should be a nice comfortable bench. Okay, great. <laughs>